Hi guys, today I'm going to showcase a concept vehicle development workflow utilizing the new workbench feature that you can actually try out in, with the beta program. So for that, I created a new file and I just click on the layers tab and the 3D layers icon to have a base volume for our rendering. I'm just going to look for this simplistic shape and I'm just going to set a side view and click on add to canvas. On a new layer, I'm going to create the fields under this concept vehicle with the ellipse tool. I just duplicate this and set the proportions of the car. On a new layer, I just try to define the connecting surface between the fields and the main body volume. And now if I have my, my basic proposal, I can click on that workbench icon and get this higher level overview of the workflow. I can just connect a prompt box to this image and just describe the creation as silver concept vehicle on the surface of Mars. And with Viscom General, with other render modes, with several different influences that I can just set, I can click on generate and, and the results are going to be generated in this, in this nice grid format. I can select my favorite proposal, just double click on it and use the brush tool to define the proposal because I like to starting off with something very simplistic and then going back going back in editing and using the brush tool to sort of define little uh, simplistic design sketches and then refine the ideas. So I just uh, try to define my proposal, adding some sort of details because I'm going to use the refine mode later to leave, this, uh, leave the aesthetic as it is, just have something which is more realistic. And refine mode is all about the visuals, so I really just try to add the visual attributes, the reflections, and some shadows as well to make, to make it a bit easier to understand my surfaces. And if I've done this little design sketch, I can just copy this already created prompt and use the refine mode outside in the workbench view to generate with 50% some, some of the refined variations. So the first bunch, which is created on top of the base canvas input, is going to be sketch rendering. Second punch is going to be refinement because we are using the refine mode to develop this idea and keep the visuals as well. And now I can see what I've generated and I can just select whichever is my favorite one. I think this one on the left bottom is the best because it has a very nice like wraparound glass effect, which is very futuristic. I just go inside, use the color picker to, to correct some mistakes. And also I try to define some sort of exoskeleton hook system on top of this basic car. And I'm just ideating on this, uh, on this structure because my plan is to have some sort of a drone connected to the car. And this hook structure is going to make sure that it is properly connected. I just try to help it with some reflections, shadows to make Viscom understand my surfaces a bit better and to have like overall better results in refine mode. So I just say concept vehicle on Mars, but going back outside to this workbench view and I just connect a prompt box to, to this updated image. I click on the refine mode and with several drawing influences, I just click on generate a few times with 70% and with 50% 60 as well to have diverse ideas here. The form language has changed a little bit. So I'm going to actually go back inside and I decided to sketch the drone as well on this same image. So I just try to define something very rough. I could have done a better job with this drone, but I just try to Try to have some sort of integration with the car. And then I use the refine mode to make it realistic. This time inside the brush studio. And now if I like this integration, I can also, I also decided to sketch an astronaut into the scene to make this rendering a bit of a storytelling render. And I just use the impainting tool to select that little doodle and say that it's an astronaut. And then I describe the whole scene and use the refine mode to 
properly integrate this. I just correct some mistakes and I go back outside and this could be our final proposal. But what we can do is actually to create alternative visualizations now on the final proposal, just using render mode this time, copying the prompt from the brush studio layer and just trying different render styles with different drawing influences to have alternative visualizations on the final proposal which can give us like other ideas and alternatives in terms of the visuals. Now I've decided to just go back here, but I can just duplicate this layer, make it into blend mode multiply to have a darker scene and just click on this refine mode to have something which is a bit even more refined than what I have. I think it added it a nice darker effect this way. And we can just see started with something which is very simplistic and then we build up the proposal from from a simple silver concept vehicle thank you for watching i hope this workflow was helpful let me know if you have any questions and feel free to join the viscom workbench beta if you want to try out this infinite canvas the link will be in the description see ya